Okay, so we now know how to control the peristaltic pump using an Arduino. And the next step would be to use a series of relays to control more pumps. Um, but because I also want to move from Arduino to Raspberry Pi, I think I will try that directly to the Raspberry Pi. And the reason for using the Raspberry Pi is that I want to have something that's connected to the internet uh, so I can do more advanced stuff, including maybe voice controlling the entire system. So I plugged in the Raspberry Pi and I'm uh, doing the standard Raspbian installation. So it's now updating, that will take a while. So meanwhile, we can uh, prepare the relays. Okay, so we have ground, which is the black wire. We have VCC, red wire, and eight inputs corresponding to the eight relays on the relay module. So I skip this uh, one because it's ground and this one because it's uh, power. Now we have all the eight relays connected. And the next step would be to add the ground and VCC. So I took the code from one of the examples available on GitHub and adapted it to Python 3, mainly the prints. And it runs. So I've now tested that I can use the 8 uh, relay module with the Raspberry Pi and the next thing to do is actually try to put the peristaltic pumps in the relays and try to control them. For that I will probably need to provide another power supply. Currently I'm taking power from the Raspberry Pi and I'm powering that through the USB port. However, I'll probably need a bit more power for uh, controlling 8 peristaltic pumps. we will likely want to use the same power supply also for the Raspberry Pi. So, time to order. I got some packages today and uh, let's open. I think I have the missing components to finish the first working version of the robotic drink mixer. So, let's open the packages up and see what's in there and try to put things together. This is a step down regulator so that I can power the Raspberry Pi from the same source I power the pumps. So I will transform from 12 volts to 5 volts and I will only have uh, one cable for the power for the entire drink uh, mixer. And what I also have is uh, it's a power cord. So this is what I will use to power the drink mixer, which will be based on the Raspberry Pi. So I will have this cable cut and will go in these three uh, inputs and then for the outputs I use it has two outputs so I can use one for the Raspberry Pi uh, using the down regulator and the other one for the uh, relays. So these are the main components of the project. So we have a Raspberry Pi here connected to an 8 relay module. To this module we will connect 8 peristaltic pumps which will have tubing which will go from the source container of liquid to the output which will be one glass. We have the main power supply, a standard power cord uh, that I will connect as input here and as output we will provide power to the relay module and power also to the Raspberry Pi through this um, step-down uh, regulator and uh, we'll probably use uh, this small breadboard for connecting uh, the different components. This is what I expect to use plus a few more cables. So I cut the wire and you can see that there are three wires inside and those three we will connect uh, to the power supply. 
it has blue, it has brown and green with um, yellow stripes. And um, I searched online to see uh, what they actually need because uh, some of these uh, cables actually have a different configuration with uh, green, red and black. And so looking for, for the color coding and how I should connect it to, to these, I found the reference online. Live is brown, so that will go in there. Neutral is the blue one, so we should put that in there. And the green and yellow is the earth, so that will go in there actually. So it will go like this. So I've cut the wire and I've twisted uh, the ends to ensure that there are no loose uh, copper wires. And now we will uh, plug it in as it is. We will be powering the Raspberry Pi from the main power supply with a step-down voltage regulator. We connect the VCC and ground from the voltage regulator to the main power supply and we use a small screwdriver to make sure the output voltage is 5 volts and uh, we can test using a multimeter. So now I'm only using one power supply, so the Raspberry Pi is powered through the GPIO pins. And that's through this um, step-down voltage regulator because in this power supply, I do have two outputs, so I can power both the Raspberry Pi and the pumps. And um, this seems to work. So the only cable I have connected uh, directly to the Raspberry Pi is the HDMI. And to get things more organized, I put everything on a cardboard. I'm powering the pump from the 12 volts through this breadboard. So next step is uh, basically to add more pumps and try to organize things a bit so that I have all the eight pumps working and figure out the casing. Okay, so now I have a, an idea of the components that I need to use um, and I need to start thinking about the case. Uh, so an enclosure for the entire um, drinks mixer. I'm thinking maybe I can reuse actually um, an existing product. Um, that uh, is very similar to what I'm trying to build, uh, with some key differences, of course. Um, but maybe I can reuse most of the enclosure. 